we arrived on the on the 21st of um, of December and we spent Christmas here. So um, now yeah, it was it's really good. Yeah, I'm liking it here. Yeah. And how much of a different experience was that? You know, Christmas uh, in the UK. Yeah, it was a quiet one. It was only me, um, my partner, and and my baby. So um, it, was, it was a bit different from what we normally. You know, and it's really cold compared to Australia. It's normally 30 degrees on Christmas. <laughs> See the, the Lantry Park Stadium behind you. How much are you looking forward to, to getting into Saints life and, and get that crowd cheering you on? No, yeah, it's good. Um, had a bit of an experience at, um, at Warrington, especially at Warrington being behind Samoa. And, um, we, we thought we were playing in front of 50,000 people with, with the crowd and them singing all their songs and stuff. So uh, it was good for, for us as players to know like, um, this is what we're going to get next year like at Saints and I was excited as a player to, to come here. You know you enjoyed a, a, a really good World Cup for yourself I think. Um, if people who maybe didn't know you before certainly know you now. Uh, um, just talk us through what sort of player Saints fans can expect to see when, when Ozzy Masai steps onto the pitch. <laughs> oh I just was 100 miles an hour I think. Um, just just try tackle tackle hard and, and run hard. Um, Get them before they get me, kind of thing. <laughs> and have you been have you been able to watch much Super League and sort of sort of spot the difference almost between the NRL and Super League and, and the way the games played over here? Yeah, normally every year I watch the, the Challenge Cup Grand Final and uh, and and the Grand Final as well. So um, I always see the the games like re very similar um, in their ways. Um, the intensity and the way they play the game is pretty similar. Like in uh, context now. But um, after I signed with St Helens, um, I started watching more and more of it, and it, it's actually a really good, good league to play in. Yeah, there's, there's a few other big guys being brought in around during the pack, Kyla Moore as well. A, you know, it's a, it's a big pack that Saints have got now. Are you excited to to play with some of those uh, those big props and, and, and sort of? I guess it could be quite a form, formidable combination with you all. There. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, we got, we got quite a few. Few, few front rowers, which is going to make the competition now. Just making the side every week, um, it's going to be better for our side. Um, so the competition there is going to be good. Um, yeah, having Carl and Alex and and Louis and that all there, it's going to be be, be good for all of us. Yeah, yeah, good for the team. You can see some of the the legends' faces on the wall behind yeah. you. Have you have you been able to sort of? Uh, verse yourself with it with St Helens history and, and and all the trophies they've won and things like that. No, not not really. I didn't really get to um, like catch up on all the history, but just talking to all the boys and stuff, um, and they're just pointing out all the legends and like, at, even at training, like some of the coaching stuff, and uh, I was kind of like I'm blown away about like all, all the players and how how well Saints have been going at, uh, over the years. So um, yeah, so. We, we need to step up this year and uh, hopefully go one better than, than get a trophy at the end of the year. Yeah, being at training, um, we've got such a good squad. Like We've got quite a few older players and we've got a lot of lot of players that are like in the middle part of their years and then we've got like all the young players So and it's really exciting watching them all um, training together and um, as a team, it's good for the team with all the young boys bringing all the energy and all the older guys that they've been there, done that, and then they know what to do. And then all us middle guys, <laughs> we kind of, <laughs> kind of don't know where we're going at the moment, but we've got those guys to, to take us along with them on the journey. So um, as a team, it's very, very exciting. We don't know what's going to happen this year, but hopefully something good does. Yeah. Do you know many of the guys around you in the squad? Have you have you played with many of them before? Uh, I've only played with Sia. Um, I played with Sia in the World Cup and I had a chance to play with him at the, at the Roosters when I was younger. Um, yeah, so it was exciting to play with him. Um, he just like he likes to smash everyone as well, like me. So, has <laughs> <laughs> he told you much about Saints and the club and the fans and, and everything? Yeah, he said I really like it here. It's, it's going to suit my game. Um, especially when I signed, he, he rang me and he said, "Oh, man, you're going to really love it here. Um, just the type of player, or the type of game that I play, it's going to suit the team." So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back on the field. Yeah, it's a very exciting, exciting way we're going to play. Um, um, going over the game, game plan and and our books and stuff, and um, it looks like we're going to play a pretty exciting way of footy this year. And um, but also, 
Um, there'll be games where we have to grind it out, play some boring footy, but that's what team, uh, every team needs to do. Uh, it's uh, really excited. Um, obviously, the way we didn't want to go out the way we did uh, versus Leeds, but we gained a lot of confidence out of that game. Uh, we gained a lot of experience with a lot of our young players, and I think that's going to filter through to this year as well with all our new signings that we've had this year. And uh, I think a lot of people are pretty excited about Big Big Mosse uh, coming into the fold and having a good World Cup. Uh, but I'm, I'm really excited to work with old um, Luke Walsh and um, Amor and uh, old Richie Beaumont. You know, they're you know they've they've done well for their previous clubs, and uh, I reckon they'll they'll bring a lot of, to the table this year. Yeah, a lot of people talking about Mosse over there, and yeah. you know you played with him in the World Cup. You yeah. you, you know what sort of player he is. Uh, what just to explain to the Saints fans what sort of what sort of guy we're getting uh, in at Langtree Park here? Yeah, well, he's it's no different to a freight train just going straight straight out straight out of a miniature car. I think Mate, he's, he's he's so big, no, but um, Mosse's 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 good. You know, like. Uh, he brings he especially off the bench when he when he had it for Samoa he just came off he just he just he just lifts the team because um, he's such a big 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 fella and um, he's he's quite quick for 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 his size so he does he, he when he gets his momentum uh, he's, he he gets you get a lot of good play the balls and he gets a gets the team going forward and um, I think that's what we sort of lacked in the last years uh, last couple of years just having well big Al big Al helped. Um, uh, last year, but I think um, we more saying old old Richie and Kyle, you know, it'll, it'll help them as well. And so just just take the pressure off um, all them big boys, and then it'll just help us going forward. And uh, with uh, Walshy, uh, Johnny Lomax, and all the little fellas, old Lani, Ohio, and and Robes as well. You know that that helps. That really complements their game as well. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about the the big guys that you've, that have been brought into Saints, but the people playing out the back, the the young bat lines must be really encouraging as well. It, it, it looks like that that sort of bat line could go on for years to come. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, well, we've got Swifty and uh, old Tommy there, make great finishes of the game, and uh, old um, you've seen little little glimpses of uh, Mark Percival there, you know, like and and Jordy Jordy's been strong for us last year and. Um, uh, Jordy Turner said, so "Like, mate, you got you got their, them strikes out wide. Um, Josh Jones is in there now, so he's in the mix. So you got you got a lot of strike out wide, and then you got a lot of nippy little players like um, um, our ball players with Walsh. I think I, th I think Walsh is going to be a big big for us. Um, but, you know, Wilco done a good a good job last year, but I think uh, with Walsh with his kicking game and his organisation, he'll be really good for us. Um, and I think that's what we sort of lacked a little bit as well last year." For yourself, how have you felt coming off the back of a, a strong World Cup with Samoa? Um, how are you feeling ahead of the season? I mean, has it been, it's been a lot of rugby, hasn't it, over, over the past sort of 12 months? Yeah, yeah. No, I'd, it wasn't until I actually went back home and sort of just uh, chilled with mum and dad and just didn't realise how much, how much uh, footy we actually played last year. But um, it was good to get a break. <clears throat> I suffered a little, little knee, uh, niggling injury through through the camp, so I'm trying to get that right this year. But um, I'm, pr I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm, uh, think just just seeing the new the new players that we got, and with the young players that that are coming through, uh, I think Saints are. are um, I think this group have sort of realised that we've got a, uh, we've, we're building a new culture now. Um, we've lost a lot of really, um, really good players and really a lot of a lot of senior players with Longy, James Graham, Paul Scullthorpe, and them. They they were, they um, they had a lot to do with the club and um, uh, and you know they they had a lot of influence. Uh, but with with the guys that we got now, I think they recognise that we we've got to start a new culture, uh, and that's just just how it is with uh, rugby league teams. And um, I, th I think they're they're going to be. Um, I think they're they're, yeah, they're pretty excited about taking the challenge on board. And we've got a lot of depth now, which is really good for the club. Um, I think that's what we sort of sort of didn't have last year when we we had injuries. Uh, we didn't have players there that could um, fill in the spots. But now with all the experience that we've had, 
um, we know that if someone does get injured, we've got someone there that can replace, which is really good. Is it exciting for you to you know have this sort of new culture, new group of players around to uh, sort of attack a season? And, and, and like you mentioned, the strength in depth, it, it seems like the Saints squad could really challenge this year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Really, um, it's always, it's always like, uh, it's always nice to sort of start, start something fresh with all the boys. And I think that's what, that's how we feel with like with Brownie. I think that's how we all feel. We feel this, this, this it's a fresh start. As, um, as disappointed as, as it sort of seemed last year, the way we, the way we finished. I think we we done really well in a sense. We've we've got. We've got a lot of experience with all our young players. Um, we've got in new players, and um, we've got uh, players that weren't uh, playing in certain positions that have that experience in, in different positions now. So I feel we've got a, a lot of good depth now, um, and a lot of um, healthy comp uh, composition now. Because even even my, for myself, I've got to try and get on. Like I've got to try and. Uh, uh, or just, I've, I've got to try and keep up my toes now because, like, mate, old Joey Greenwood and Luke Thompson, all them young fellas, they're all coming through now. So I can't slack off, or, or none of us can slack off because someone else might, might might come and take over your position. But that's 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 a sign of a good club, you know, good good depth of the club.